First Alert Weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. We'll be tracking a cold front to come through here, especially later on tonight to bring in our best chance for a few showers. Some cloud cover expected through the afternoon and evening as well, but some peaks of sunshine possible in and out of those clouds through the day. It's still going to be quite warm today as we also go into your Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We're talking unseasonably warm weather. Friday systems are going to come in here to bring in a chance for some rain showers and a little cool down following it for next weekend. But as the cold front pushes off to the east, high pressure will build in behind it to bring in some ni nice weather for us Tuesday and Wednesday, bringing back more sunshine, even though Wednesday will be a little bit cooler. We'll still look for highs in the low to mid 60s with more sunshine. That high moves away, allowing this system to approach us by Friday to bring in a good soaking for some of your backyards to end the week. Could even see some of those showers spill over into early Saturday morning. As far as today goes, though, and tonight, as mentioned, some cloud cover still lingering out there with some peaks of sunshine as a possibility through the afternoon and evening. And as the sun sets, we'll be tracking the front coming on through the area. It's a much weaker situation for our area compared to what occurred early this morning off to our west as a cold front went through Alabama, potentially significant damage with a tornado touching down there. We will be watching the system weaken bringing in just a chance for a few showers through the evening and overnight hours and pushing off the coast by daybreak tomorrow morning with nicer weather moving in for your Tuesday afternoon with a little more sunshine. So improving conditions for Tuesday and Wednesday this afternoon. Overall, look for mostly cloudy skies, but don't be surprised if you break into partly sunny skies briefly. It'll be warm and with that breakage of sunshine, we could actually see a few spots hit 70 degrees. Forecast light 70 in Georgetown, Andrews, even Carolina Forest, Conway, Socastee knocking on the door of that 70 degree mark. Surfside in Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach hitting 67 today, right along with Florence, Darlington, Dillon, and Lumberton. But areas across the PD with that cool air wedging in, it may take you a little while to even see those temperatures jump to the mid 60s. Warm air, though, surging in from our south will continue to push into the area. And we'll actually see the front come through tonight. 20 to 30 percent chance of those showers late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, mostly cloudy. And we start off fairly mild with your Tuesday. So the mild start with more sunshine into the afternoon. We'll see those highs climbing to the upper 60s and some spots inland even up to 70 degrees. We'll notice a little bit of a cooler start on Wednesday and Wednesday afternoon, our coolest day of the work week, but a high of 63. Not too shabby there. We will watch for more clouds coming in here for Thursday and Friday, our best chance for rain in that seven day forecast after that front pushes through our area tonight. We actually stay dry for Tuesday, Wednesday and most of the day on Thursday. Thursday we could be tracking some showers out there. We'll keep an eye on the development of that low heading into the southeast and bring our next chance for rain on Friday. But you do see we cool down a little bit as we head to the weekend, especially on Sunday, but that's roughly par for this time of the year. So unseasonably warm weather for the week ahead. Only a few chances of rain out there and mainly later on tonight to early tomorrow morning. We'll keep an eye on that. Otherwise, have a great Monday. Get your week off to a great start. Remember, you can always get your latest news and weather updates on your website, carolinalive.com.